How's it going, everyone? I have got myself, for the first time in a long, long while, I am. I bought myself a booster box. I mean, I bought, I think, a buy a box, you know, a little. What's that? I bought one for Theros Beyond Death so that way I can get the spider, you know, because I like the spider and everything of the sort. So, I thought that um, this time would be a. Uh, uh, I don't you guys can hear me, yeah, so I can't hear you. That's the key, though. Because I don't have a game right now, as you can see. Anyway. Um, Goal is to collect as much Godzilla cook. Oh, right, I promised Goji. Sorry, one minute, one second. Godzilla already has his hand out waiting for cards. <laughs> anyway, me and, Go uh, Go me and Gojo are about to open up some of his friends. I hope to actually get um, uh, the green and the red. Green ones. Well, I, 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 red and green ones are buy a box for him. I don't think it's going in on this. But, um,. and the Wandering Turtles alt art, and that's the one for cycling, but in my cycling deck, I it's a commander deck, so it's pointless to have um, that card in it, because it requires you to have cycled it four times. Though, since it gets shuffled in the deck, you're going to have to go through a 80-plus card deck, try and cycle it onward and onward. It doesn't work for my deck at all. But it's burning Godzilla, so of course I want that one. Alright, pack one. There's 12 of them. Comes with 16, like 15 cards in it. Uh, I think like 5 all in the foil. Some of them are non foiled, some of them are extended arts. Uh, cards I'm looking for here Riel, the Everwise, um, the Triomes. Yeah. Hello cat. Uh, catch your spear. Solid footing. I hope. Uh, Collins not gonna put up to the camera because um, unless anybody asks. Oh cool. Archipelagor is like my favorite name for a card currently. Valiant Rescuer works in my cycle deck, but that might be an alt card. Apollo um, Island. Hey, I gotta start the Batch Sore. Another one. That already comes in the deck, but uh, whatever. Alright, so um, my first Godzilla alt art card. Well, not actually, no, the first extended art card. It's Garuda Deaths. That's pretty much a money card because uh, uh, with like flashing and blinking in this game, you can just make this like a, a pain in the ass to everybody. But as a companion, it requires you to have only cards with even converted mana cost in your deck. So it's kind of limiting, but not too much. Um, so there's probably some appeal to it. It's uh, blue black, which means it um, it requires a little bit more deck tech. Um, uh, but it's colored and is blue black. So it, in standard, it can be used in blue, like mono blue, if anything. All right, so there's that. 
I got a hollow Everquill Phoenix, which is great because uh, I was hoping maybe I would get the uh, Destroyer version. It's a nice Phoenix Tribal, which is odd because I've never heard of Phoenix Tribal. Um, and all the years I've played Magic, a little bit of a background. Um, I've been playing Magic since I think Kamigawa, though I did have some Fifth Dawn and um, Roding cards. Uh, when I started, my gym teacher gave me my first deck. It was a mono white samurai deck back when they had Bushido. It was dope. Um, yeah, thank you, Mr. Potter. Uh, congratulations um, again to that um, coaching job again. We're coming back in the coaching. Appreciate it. He's a wrestling coach. Oh, uh, I forgot where he's based out of. But, um, but yeah, he's one of those um, stereotype breaking gym teachers who uh, is a nerd as well. Uh, it needs to be more common than media, honestly, because, like, it de degrades the, uh, time-honored tradition of media these days. Anyway, um, extended art, uh, mutate card, um, migratory great horn, gives you a basic land card when you mutate. In case you wonder what mutate means, it means, um, you would put it on top or under a card, um, that already exists and has to be a non-human creature. So, um, there's plenty of non-humans in the, in the game, but, um. As long as you put it, if you put it on top, its identity and name is turned into that creature. But if you put it below, it just takes the abilities. But when you're on top, that's the power and toughness you use for reference sake. So if you want just the ability of mutation rather than the power and toughness, you'd put it underneath. But if you want the power and toughness, you would put it on top. Also, all cards that are mutated go into the graveyard together um, in one fell swoop. Um, and if anything refers to the name of the creatures, they are all of those names. Hey, right, Porky Parrot. Look at that angry ass parrot. Uh, tap deals X damage. Creature X is equal to the amount of times this creature is mutated. Cool, I got the uh, um, I got the X standard art um, red, mono red planeswalker. This is Luca. Uh, Copper Coat Outcast. Um, his ult ability allows him to allow creatures to deal damage equal to the power to each opponent, which is pretty dope. Um, uh, he he's like self mill, kind of like exile. Uh, creatures that you mill, um, you can play uh, from exile, but uh, there's a card in the set, uh, Draenite Magistrate, that just like bans cards from being played from anything other than your hand. So. You be careful when you play this. Also, it's a five mana from Planeswalker, um, which means it has a body of five. Um, there's that. My Godzilla card for this pack is Dorat the Perfect Pet, which is the alt art of Sprite Dragon. Uh, alt art means that it counts as its only Sprite Dragon. No card will refer to it as the Godzilla names, but it's just alt art versions of it. Sprite Dragon has flying in haste whenever you cast, and create, cast a non-creature spell, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Sprite Dragon. Now, the history of Dorat. Dorat is um, a name of the species of tiny dragon, uh, tiny dragons that um, in the Showa era of Godzilla, I don't I, I don't remember movies, I'm sorry, it's uh, hard, difficult, but in the Showa era of um, uh, uh, the movies, uh, the Dorats were mutated to become King Ghidorah. So, wait, wait, no, was it Heisei? Probably Heisei. Correct me in the comments. Anyway, yeah, so, um, they were pesky. There was three of them. Um, uh, it was something for the humans to fight at the time, uh, while Godzilla was going around stomping towns, because, um, he sensed the threat to the planet. So, um, eventually Dorats were mutated. They, st they become King Ghidorah. Um, all three of them just kind of, like, lumped together, and then, you know, they become the three-handed dragon that you know from the, the movie last year. I also got an extended hollow art of Archipelagor, so I got two of them now, two in one pack. Right. Pack number two. I know you're not excited about Dorat, but I'll have some of your friends, maybe. Like King Caesar. Alright, so the hollow token is the feather for Everquill. Cool. Uh, Divine Arrow of one mind, which is pretty dope. 
to to control a human creature or non human creature. Cool. No. Sleeper Dart, Whisper Squad, um Control Scar Mentor, because uh, menace counters. I got the Endatha crystal. Cool, I don't really use Endatha, but that's great. Uh Eerie like Ultimatum. It says return all uh, any number of permanent cards with different names from your graveyards and battlefield. That's going in my uh tracks today because it's just the right color to show track. And but yeah, just full res, love it. Anyway. Um my alt rare art is um, Voracious Great Shark, which is pretty dope because it has flash and it, ca it's, it counters a target artifact or creature spell, which is pretty neat. Um, it's actually um, one of the few creatures that can just come out and counter a spell um, that isn't a frog or a elf lizard. Uh, Simic used to do that, but this is the first like mono blue. It's just like, ah, no, that's good. Extended arts, I have Dream Tail Heron. Uh, whenever you taste, draw a card. Cavern Whisper, which is actually one of the night nightmares I was looking for. Um, for my Morophon Nightmare deck, which I'm still building. Um, I have the card for the token I had to just go out and pulled out. Um, Cub Warren. Warden. Um, it, um, when it mutates, create two cats with lifelink. Go for the cat deck I'm trying to build. Go, G! I got your baby! Let me get your baby. Hold on. Let me get your baby. Baby Godzilla. Yeah. I baby Godzilla. Baby Godzilla uh, allows you to uh, eat, uh, each creature spell you cast costs one less to cast if it has mutate. And every cast a creature spell if it has mutate, draw a card and discard a card. You can also mutate on top of this too. So it's uh, the alt art card of Polywogs. Sorry for this. The hot water heater behind me. I'm still figuring out where I want to put my uh, desk. Anyway, uh, the uh, hot, next hollow extended card is Cloud Piercer. Whenever you mute it, whenever it mutates, discard a card and draw a card. That's what I'm just going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I have a whole egg deck, which is the end of the story. I'm so excited. Alright, that's pack two. Uh, tell me where to go. Okay, uh, another feather. Uh, it stays, so it's like a remnant. Um, 
makes up for the fact that you're exiling that card from the graveyard, but um, like some cards that just like need to exist out, it doesn't matter what their power and toughness is. Uh, it's good for this card. You know? I got a myth. All right, cool. I got a Mythos of Snapdax. Great. That is a the uh, Mardu. Okay. Yep, the Mardu. Uh, Mythos. Mardu, by the way, if you're looking for the there's the color wheel on my uh, screen right there. Um, Mardu is red, white, black. So um, you can see like right there on the bottom of it. I uh, just put that up as a reference. Uh, but yeah, it allows you to uh, uh, um, this card a magic called single combat. Uh, but uh, this is like a little bit more souped up. Each card chooses, uh, each player picks an artifact, creature, enchantment, and planeswalker among the non-land permanents they control, and then sacrifices the rest. So they pick one of everything, and then everything else leaves, except for the lands. If you pay black and red for this cost, you choose the permanents for each player. So you can just choose, you can choose their puny monster, and then everything else goes out. So that's pretty good. Um, uh, my extended arts are uh, uh, Keep, which is a uh, box bird. Says we'll put a counter on it. Uh, Boneyard Lurker. Um, whatever the scripture mutates, put a permanent card from your graveyard to your hand, which is actually one of the nightmares I was looking for. Uh, I got the Catcher Biome. Um, so I got the, the biome of the thing I don't need that I'm not running, but uh, I, I did get the uh, Arcane Maelstrom deck, so that's good for that. It's good that I got this Catcher, but uh, it's a uh, Triumph. I got King Caesar, Ancient Guardian, which is the alt art for Huntmaster Liger. King Caesar, uh, in case you're wondering, King Caesar, it, um, I helped out uh, Godzilla against uh, Mega God Godzilla and Terra Mega Godzilla. I think it's the, the alien one, the one where um, I, the one where Mega Godzilla tried to be Godzilla for a bit. So it's from this sticker. Uh, by the way, uh, these stickers were um, given to me in a uh, pin set um, made by, uh, I think, Respect. It's called Gods and Kings, as you saw. And it came in a nice little VHS box. I got it at a, a pin expo. Uh, with help of my friends. So, uh, King Caesar, whenever this creature meets Caesar, other creatures control get plus, plus, plus X. So, the end turn where X is the number of times this creature was mutated. It's also just a cat. It's just a regular cat. Um, it's actually a hemophage alt art. So that's greeny. So that's three packs so far. Keep coming, Goji. So excited. I carried Goji from Staten Island to uh, Queens before I moved. Um, so, um, yeah, there's that. Um, it's a nice two hour trek. Uh, Hollow Beast Token, Harrison Cat, Flycatcher Griffin, Antelope Blizzard, which is weird looking. I got a Flying Nightmare Squirrel, which is great. I think I ran it. Kelsey and the Plague. Um, Vigilance and Haste. It's one 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 for each experience counter you have, bringing those back. Um, it can ping a target creature you don't control. When that creature dies this turn, you get an experience counter. So that's how you keep getting it. Um, this is kind of strong in Mardu. Um, I think it's got to be a viable commander if you wanted it to be. Um, I will say this, I don't have much experience counter cards, so I can't make it any bigger. What I can do is probably just like give it curiosity and uh, we're not curious, I think. Um, like, I can give it death touch with, uh, I think, uh, can I have a bear shield? No, I guess the next one. Uh, touch. I got something now that I can give it a death touch. You can just give it a death 
try to counter with Void Beckner. Uh, I was hoping I didn't get this card because I didn't want to run it, but Unpredictable Cyclone. I might put her in my side deck, in my cycling deck. Um, when you cycle, you would exile the cards that match the card you have that you cycled, and that comes into play. And you put up every card you exile and uh, back to the bottom of the library. It's neat unless you run into, like, Massacre Girl on your opponent's turn when you're not planning on running Massacre Girl. So, yeah, Scry, I guess, would be the best thing to do before you do that. Uh, Frontland Felidar, which is a, uh, has Vigilance, a creature with Vigilance and attack creatures for one mana. Um, got a Vault Dark, a Remark, uh, I got Oh, I got a Hollow Regal Leosaur and the Extended Art. Cool. I got an Extended Art Evercool Phoenix, so I have two now. And, um, the Godzilla ult, uh, card I got. The Alt Art card is for Void Beckner. So I have what people would clarify as a, um, a misprint because the first edition of these cards have a very suspect name of them called Death Corona. Now, note, these were put into into work to be done several months before the virus, so it, it is not like it was intentional. Also, the, the Death Corona is the name of the laser beam that Space Godzilla uses. Space Godzilla is from the Heisei area, I think. Um, came to Earth after Biollante's DNA cells were scattered across space, um, fused with a crystalline entity, and then decided to come back to Earth to fight Godzilla. Um, this is our shoulder crystals, and um, it put a hurting on Baby Godzilla. It caused Godzilla to freak out and put up a thing for at that point. I want to see that again. Pack five. Oh yeah, but I'm definitely using a void back in the recycling bin for sure. So if I get another Space Godzilla, I'll put it to the side. Uh, I'm mostly just actually collecting the deep cards, so I really want to read it. Unless I need to. Alright, so we're going to do that. Cool! I got the hollow token for the shark that comes in the shark typhoon, which is based on the shark NATO. If I get it, I'll let you know. That essence symbiote, cool, kind of feel. Alright. I wasn't really going to use that. Oh, the target creature gets plus two, plus two, the end of turn, put a fly counter on it, cool. Spring draw trap, cool. Uh, migration path, which is a, cy um, a cycling card that allows you to look for uh, two mana, but, uh, two no two lands, but I'm gonna play tap. That's cool. I might um, put that in my dinosaur deck. Channeled force, cool. I was actually looking forward to getting this card. Um, this allows you to uh, when you cast it, discard X amount of cards. Target player draws X cards, and then deals X damage. To up to one target creature of Planeswalker, which is good for Riviel if I get it. Daring Fiend Bonder. You can put extra indestructible counters on a creature. That's cool. And next rare is the Hunted Nightmare, which has Menace. And when it enters the battlefield, target opponent puts a Death Touch counter on a creature they control. I guess it makes up for the fact that it costs three. Oh, cool. I got the. Uh, uh, original tomato, which is in, I, I forgot what color it is. Uh, so this one where allows you to pick three uh, monocolored cards, up to three, and different names, and exile them. Your opponent chooses one, and you can cast the other two. And your opponent, when they choose one, it shovels that part into the library. They don't get it. So that's two cards for free from your deck. Up here, sir. Cool. I got the alt art of Nethroy Apex of Death, which is the uh, uh, actually one of the cards I was looking for for my uh, uh, Marathon Nightmare deck. When it mutates, it allows you to return any number of target creature cards from total power, 10 or less, from your graveyard to the battlefield. And that costs 7 to do mutate, um, but when it comes out, it's 5. So you can mutate on top of it cheap with it and then do it again. Yeah. Alright, cool. I got Mothra! Ray would love that. Um 
Rage Rumi is beautiful looking, almost Rick and Morty esque. Mothra, right there. So I'm gonna put the card right next to it, like that. She likes Mothra. Uh, Mothra is the um, altar, uh, altar version of Luminous Blood Brood Moth. Uh, as flying, and whenever a creature you control without flying dies, return to the battlefield with a flying counter on it. So, um, if you have cards that can remove counters, it's pretty strong. It's a very strong card. Plus, I can get my dinosaurs flying, and that's the key. <sighs> Glowstone Recluse. Um, whenever a creature mutates, put two one, one counters on it. That's cool. I like spoders. It's a spoder. Alright, that's pet file. Um, right, after this, I'm halfway done. I'm just sticking it, so I don't know why I'm just sticking it. Cool, I got the Kraken token. It's hollow, so I can use it for um, Ominous Seas, which is uh, one of the cards in um, the pre comp, which I haven't gotten yet. It's on Wednesday. Um, unlikely Aid, Honey Mammoth, um, Water Cliffs. Um, nice red lockdown. Cool. Cool, I think. Yeah, that, that's actually pretty neat. It's a good uncommon. Uh, Sonora's Howlbounder, which gives any creature with a menace to uh, they can't be blocked except by three or four. Lava Brick Floodgates, which comes in the commander deck. Oh! Mythos of, um, Deathroy. Um,. This then draw from Mythos. Uh, this allows you to destroy a target creature or target permanent if you paid black and well, if you played green and white along with it. Oh, non lamp. Yeah, non lamp permanent. So anything on the field or a creature if you didn't pay for it. So that's pretty dope. Uh, Quartzwood Crasher. Um, trample one or more creatures you control with trample your combat damage to a player. Create an X green green dinosaur beast creature token with trample or X amount of damage those creatures dealt to a player. Ooh, that's a lot of dinosaurs. It's a lot of dinosaurs. It's a lot of dinosaurs. Yeah. Cavern Whisper. Gem Razor. Cool. Yeah, I kind of needed that. Look at it. Love all this alt art. The set is like masturbatory if you love your art. Uh, the Godzilla card I got is. Oh no, baby Godzilla, look away. This Destroyer. The perfect life form. Um, I don't know if you watched that movie, but that's the movie where uh, Destroyer kills um, Godzilla Jr. And um, in mourning, Godzilla becomes the uh, burning Godzilla. And uh, does enough damage to destroy it, overheat it, and destroy it flies off and is immediately frozen by the Super X3 and crashes to the ground and breaks. Um, that does not mean it's any fragile. It is a terrifying monster with the ability to make energy blades from its horn. And um, it's made from the Oxygen Destroyer, which is the weapon that was used to destroy the 1954 Godzilla. Uh, where was I? Oh, another cavern whisperer. Cool. All right, I'm halfway through the box, guys. Oh, so there's something that makes a one-one dinosaur. Cool. Uh, capture spear. Solid footing. Like hope. Evacuation mold, Valiant Restorer, cool. Um, Alert Heat Bonder, which gives one, one it gives you one health for each creature control with vigilance. Hollow Plains, cool. Why is that upside down? And the pack, why is has, why is this a thing? <laughs> All my cards are half and half. I don't get it. How do they pack it like that? Uh, this is the uh, uh, one of the uh, alt commanders that come in the. Uh, Hmm. And draft that deck, I think. Yeah. Yeah, an excavaging sentinel. Uh, 
Uh, Lava Brink Venture comes to the battlefield, choose odd or even. This protects from each converted mana cost of the chosen value. So if you see that your opponent is running um, uh, the black red commander or uh, companion or the black blue commander uh, uh, companion I talked about earlier, if you know that what their deck is built on, you can just say protection from odd or even, and then you have protection from their whole deck. Which is pretty deep. It's, pretty, it's dope if you have the cards that um, say uh, everything else has protection from something else. Like uh, Ludic comes in the uh, Andratha deck, and um, he can benefit. He can give all creatures protection from odd or even, depending on what the card has. So this is pretty dope. Uh, Titan's Nest. Uh, whenever uh, uh, beginning your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. You may put that card in the graveyard. Exile a card from your graveyard. Add one colorless mana. To your mana pool. Spend this mana only to cast a colored spell without X and its mana cost. So that works with, um, uh, I for, that was like a Z. Um, it's the, uh, it's a legendary creature that, um, whenever you cast X, um, and a creature spell like a Hydra, a hydra or something like that, you can make a Hydra with XX, um, where X is equal to what you cast for X. Uh, Huntmaster Liger, which is the uh, first version of uh, King Caesar. Damn it, I got another Triome, but it's not the land I need. I, I want At this point, I'm like, yo, can I trade like Triomes with people? <laughs> triome to Triome. Um, I got Gigan as the Godzilla alt art. Uh, this is the alt form of Garuda, which is the companion I was talking about earlier, and the one that um, all your cards have to be even mana colored costs. So it's nice that I have Garuda. Um, I have a Gigan as well as Garuda itself, so I'm not missing out if I decide to make that deck. It's also a majestic and Auricorn. Look at that. That's just, that's just a majestic uh, unicorn. That's mutate. Whenever this creature mutates, you gain four life. Cool. I'm waiting for this all week, guys. Be bummed if I think I got money back. I want to say I gotta look at the prices. Uh, another cat token, jungle hollow, Hol hollow jungle hollow, phase dolphin, checkpoint officer, fast reader, dust fang mentor, fashion of remembrance. Cool. Fireflux Squad. Haste. Whenever Fireflux Squad attacks, you may exile another target card creature you control. If you do reveal cards at the top of your library to reveal a creature card, put that card in the bat for the tap and attacking and the rest of your body in the library in random order. That's kind of cute. Ah, uh, Karuga the Micro Macro Sage. Your, your starting deck contains only cards with converted mana cost 3 or greater and land cards. When Karuga the Macro Sage enters the battlefield, draw a card for each other permanent you control with converted mana cost 3 or greater. It's pretty neat. Oh, there you go. Let's see. It's a dinosaur hippo. Cool, I got Snapdax. I didn't get the old art version yet, though. Uh, but, um, Dinosaur Cat Nightmare. Um, double strike, whenever this creature mutates, it deals four damage to target creature, planeswalker, opponent controls, and you gain four life. Which is pretty neat. Uh, I was, I was going to put it in the Nightmare deck. Cool, I got Yadrock, the Apex, Apex of Thunder. Uh, mutate cost um, four. Flying first strike. Whenever this creature mutates, you may cast target non creature card with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. So, this is good for the cycling deck in that, like, if something I had was, like, in the graveyard that was, like, that much, like, a uh, resounding wave or something like that, I can cast it whenever this mutates and I can mutate on top of like Thopter or something like that uh, that I already have out. But Goji, I got you, baby! Got Godzilla. It's the alt art version of the Ty um, Titan off Rex. It gives a uh, trample counter whenever it's uh, cycled. And it also has trample and it's 11-11 and it costs 9 to put out by itself. Yeah. It's pretty expensive. It's a dinosaur beast, though. So you can use that to your advantage. I mean, I'm gonna put that in my egg deck. But yes, 
I finally got the, a triome that I was looking for. The Rogren triome. It's going directly into my cycling deck. Um, it's the extended art version too, so that now I'm going to set that aside. Yeah. It's really cheering me up. I don't, if, if you guys know, I've had, a, I've had a pretty bad week. I mean, I think we we're all having bad weeks, but... Selective and that I feel like I had a pretty bad week. I'm not gonna compare contrast though. Okay. Oh shit! They, these tokens are reversible. Cool. I'll, I'll check that out. Um. Aegis Turtle, Survivor Retrieve, Kataga Tiger, Bristling Boar, Zagoff Crystal. Not the crystal I was looking for, but. I might have some report. Trumpeting Gnar. Uh, whenever it mutates, create a 3 3 beast token, which just came in the pack. Uh, Verge Rangers. First strike. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. As long as an opponent controls more land than you, you can play lands from the top of your library. So, this is a mono white card that plays kind of like Oracle of Moldatha, but Oracle of Moldatha says that you can play an extra land for the turn. So that's the balance here, and that this has first strike, so it's a solid blocker. It's 3-3. Three, three. And um, you may look at the top card at any time, so your opponent doesn't see it. You just look at it, and you'd be like, ha-ha, there's a land. Um, it's better that the lands are played from the top of your library rather than your hand, because then, like, um, your hand looks stronger after you play it. Plus, it's a land you didn't have in your hand to begin with. Um, oh, cool, I got the Mythos uh, Bractos, which is the uh, Kestra... Yeah, um, if blue and black were spent to cast his spells, search the library for a card, put that plant card in graveyard and shuffle your library. Return up the two permanent cards from graveyard to your hand. So this is kind of like a souped up, um, Eternal Witness, except Eternal Witness is not a stick. Uh, but this is like a lesser cost for Genesis, and since you can just tutor for a card, like, to put into your graveyard first, and then in your hand, it's kind of broken in that aspect. Well, not broken, but... These mythos are pretty strong. And if you're playing commander like I do, it's nice to have a card and you can just be like, all right, well, I'm going to pitch this in the graveyard. So I might just put this in my... Hold on, let me see. Yeah, that's the colors. I'm going to put that in my uh, Atraxa decks that way. Put Cauldron Familiar in a graveyard and then make Chinese like I meant to. Um, Cub Warden. I think I like... Like three Cub Wardens. I'm going to have to look. Parcel Beast. Cool. It's a mental beast. Look at the top of your library. If it's a land card, put it into a battlefield. If you don't, put, not, put the card into your battlefield. If you don't put it in a battle card, put it in your hand. So it's kind of like a it's all, it's like a coiled oracle. But coiled oracle when it comes into play. This is you can just pay one and tap and then do that. Migratory Great Horn. Cool. Ooh, Sea Dash or Octopus. Uh, mutates for... Uh, it's... Uh, it's a three, mutates for two, and whenever this creature does combat damage to a player, draw a card. And has flash, so you can just mutate on your opponent's turn. Like, ah, I'm a big ass octopus. I got another King Caesar. Cool. That's good, I can display one or sell one. And I got another Porky Parrot. All right, guys, fingers crossed that I get the Survive Triome because I'm actually looking for that rather than paying money for it. That's not, your boy doesn't want to do that. And Reality Everwise is still on my uh, look, look list. I don't want to pay 11 for it. Blazing Volley. Migratory Great Horn. Another one. Fertilid. Cool. It's nice to have that back. General's Enforcer, Legendary, legendary Humans Control of Indestructible. That's cool. Um, it does give Indestructible to itself. Uh, boom, the Wish Giver. That's pretty cool. That's coming in a commander deck. Um, Flawless Maneuver. If you control a commander, you can pay this uh, spell without paying its mana cost. Creatures control gain Indestructible to the end of turn. That is cool. That is going in another. That's, that's going in the deck. Uh, Lorist of the Dream, then, which is currently banned in Brawl, by the way. Um, actually, no, not banned in Brawl, banned in Legacy and Vintage, uh, because uh, this card allows way too much. This is actually the banned pack, apparently, because I'm looking at another card, it's just, just as banned as well. Uh, 
This companion is each permanent card in your deck. Starting deck is converted mana cost two or less, which is why it's banned in Vintage and Legacy, because there's cards that cost zero that just make this whole deck existent, and then you can just kind of like put it in for freedom. And then, um, during life link during each of your turns, you may cast one permanent spell, um, with converted mana cost two or less from your graveyard. So you can just get like, just like moxes, and you just put all in your deck, and not, well, not, not some moxes, but you can imagine that, like, that principle. Um, Mox I, uh, Lion Eye Diamond um, comes to mind too. Um, all those, you can make it easily make a deck that's called Zero, One, or Two. Uh, the next card that's banned is um, Lutri the Spell Chaser. Uh, it's banned as a, command, as a companion. You can't have it as a companion and commander because its companion um, settings are basically commander. Um, you can't have a card. Uh, each nightline card in your starting deck has a different name, which is basically commander. It's called, or Singleton. Uh, but when it comes out, if you cast it from your hand, you can copy and send a sorcery spell you control uh, and choose new targets. So it's a free three mana copy, like from outside the deck, outside the game. All right, I got the extended art Narset. Cool. She's a planeswalker. Um, you gain two uh, for the positive ability. You gain two life. You can add one. Blue, red, or white mana to your mana pool. You can only spend it to cast non-creature spells. Its ult allows you to, um, uh, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, this emblem deals two damage to any target. And its middle ability, which is minus two, is draw a card. Then you may discard a card. Um, when you discard a non-line card this way, Narset of the Ancient Way deals damage equal to cards converted to mana cost third creature of Planeswalker. It starts with four, and it costs four to, to cast. Ooh, Narset. Um, I got Rodan uh, as the Godzilla alt art. Um, he is the alt art version of Vodrog, uh, of Vodrog Apex of Thunder, which I think I might have already had or shown off. Um, whenever this creature mutates, it's Elemental Dinosaur Cat, by the way. <laughs> that, that's confusing. Look at this Pterodon. It's a cat. I promise it's a cat. Uh, whenever this creature mutates, you may cast non, uh, a non-creature card with converted mana cost through a less from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. Which is pretty dope, and since it's blue, I can't use it in my dinosaur deck, so I'm gonna have to figure something out. Uh, no, that, that was in the cycling colors, All right? Yeah, I already had that. Yeah, okay, cool. One more pack to go. After this. Oh my god, look at this cat bird. I kind of want to matter of it. That and the dragon cat that came in um, earlier, Commander. Go for blood, cycling one. That's nice. Uh, Cathartic Reunion, which is a reprint. Dark Bargain. Back for more. Ooh, I might use that in the place. Ooh, well, the all hunter. Cool. Mm, Hollow Mountain. Oh, that's this is the card I was talking about. Um, Exar the Exa Exemplary. Um, it gives you two mana of any color, one color. Um, whenever you cast a spell with um, X in its mana cost, create a zero zero green Hydra creature token, and then put X one one counters on it. So that's what I was talking about. Oh shit. Cool. This is going in the Simic deck I wanted to build. Uh, Keenan Bounders, uh, uh, Bounders Prodigy. Whenever you tap a non-land permanent for mana, like Mana Rocks or Soul Ring, you can add one mana of any type that mana produced. So like, you can get three on a Soul, man, uh, soul Ring. Um, five blue and uh, blue and green. Look at the top five cards of your library. I'm gonna put a non-human creature card from amongst them on the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in random order. So it's kind of like a Urza, but like costs way more. So. Um, since it's Simic, you want to use Biomancer's Familiar to make the cost of it cheaper. While at the same token, um, uh, Simic is just great for tapping green, um, uh, non land permanents for stuff. Tal Talisman of Curiosity comes to mind. Um, so um, there's definitely some strength in this card. Cool! I got another one of the cards I wanted from my Nightmare deck Brocco's Apex of Forever. Um, uh, 
a trample, and you may cast it, it from the graveyard using its mutate ability, which costs five. Um, I have some pretty neat tricks of it. Um, I think there's another space. Wait, no, the Vellante. I forget which one. Yeah, it is the altar. Necropanther. Cool, I needed one. And I got the Savai Triome. Yes! I don't gotta buy no Triomes after this. Yes. My happy dance. I got another Dorat, by the way. So that's the second duplicate I have. Um, new part, another Parcel Beast. Necropanther. Look at the alt art on this one. It's a Cat Nightmare. Whenever this creature mutates, return target creature card with converted mana cost to realize from graveyard to battlefield. Great. Last pack. Fingers crossed for uh, Ghidorah. Or, um. Uh. Yeah, Ghidorah. Or the red, uh, Burning Godzilla. I want that too. Just because I can't use it doesn't mean I don't want it. Frenzy Raptor, Suffocating Fumes, Fuel Grown, Rugged Highlands, Rooting Moloch, which I didn't want because it's. Not... Oh, this is the uh, original version of the Godzilla card. So this is what the Godzilla card would normally be. Um, Hollow Forest, Manuscape Refractor, comes in play tapped, has a Vec. All activated abilities of all lands on the battlefield. So um, you would use this with uh, Brandon um, Bonder Prodigy to make the lands that you have on the field you have the same abilities of. And you could spend mana as though or any mana of any color to pay the activation cost for any of the things that you have. So say if you were to make if this um, if this was a copy if this had the ability of Cabal Coffers, um, you can just tap green to or, or any color. Um, to activate Cabal Coffers abilities, and then you get um, all, a bunch of black mana for each swamp that's on the field. Ooh, Labyrinth Raptor. That's a Nightmare Dinosaur. Uh, whenever it has menace, whenever a creature you control with menace becomes blocked, defending player to sacrifice a creature blocking it. Uh, creatures you control with menace get plus one, plus zero until the end of turn. I think there's like Tribal Menace now. I, I can do it. I'm not a fan. I hate menace. Oh, we got another Mythos of Nethroi. Cool, so in case anybody else needs another one. Oh, I got the Endatha Triumph. Another one. Cool! I got the other Space Godzilla. Bio Quartz. This is the Brachdos version, so I can use this one rather than the actual Brachdos that I own. Um, and my nightmare deck. I'm sorry. And then I got another hollow majestic Aracorn. So, um, yeah. So I got me a set amount of triumphs, which I don't. Know, I gotta look at the value that I have versus what I'm actually using uh, to see if this is a break or a bust. But if your case you're wondering, Morophon looks like this. It is a shapeshifter, um, colorless. Commander, you can use. Um, its color identity is all five colors, and whenever it comes out, you call it creature type. So I call it Nightmare when I run it. And um, spells of a chosen type you cast cost um, um, one, of one of every color in the game less to cast. But you, this effect can only reduce the amount of color mana you pay. So um, say you were casting Bio Quartz, Spart uh, Space uh, Space Godzilla, and look at its mutate cost. You see how it has two greens in it. You would take that blue, white and blue and one of those greens off the cast. It would cost three to cast from the graveyard. Or it would cost two to cast from your hand if you had this out. So anyway, I'm super stoked about the things that I pulled. Goji, how do you think? Your mouth's still open in excitement? Yeah. Daddy's a little monster. All right, so I got some cleaning up to do, and I'm going to go ahead and... Um, put some deck techs together and then I'll probably start streaming something I just haven't really decided what game I was going to play so thank you guys for your time I really appreciate you guys coming out if you did um it don't look like it though I think I only have like two people um but that's fine 
um, I'm not really doing this for viewers. I'm just doing this for my myself for my own sanity because COVID-19. Um, have a great day. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys later.